I want to point out one other thing because we're talking about collectors, we're talking about the stories, we're talking about the oil show, and you, you as a collector, bring that forward, and the excitement slash terror slash panic slash accomplishment of actually putting it up an opening night and then it's played. That's a generation of Canadian theatre that had an implicit ask of its artists to do more than just play the constable who came in in Act 2, Scene 1 and supported the whatever. That the artist or the actor was asked to do more, to engage in their community, to engage in the community story, to engage in their nation, to engage in the nation's history. Yeah, to be writers, to be directors. To and be that's in that generation of yours and the next generation of ours that was implicitly part of who we were and what we were meaning to do. I'm not sure if that's around so much anymore, especially with the growth of commercial television in this country. Well, again, we, we have to be careful, I think, to segregate as actors television and film from theater. Because I would argue we're here, we're in a shrine to this tradition of what you, you, you're talking about in theater past my eye. Now, there's good and bad times, but there's still a deep um, there's still a deep uh, force in this city for theater, both in an audience and in young actors coming up to express themselves, ne and not, you know, just clawing their way to Hollywood. In film and television, in English Canada, that's a huge problem. I feel that in television terms, because I know that better, we live in an occupied country, the same way that Afghanistan is occupied by American troops, I am, in television terms, occupied by American actors. I can't look up at any point in my day or night and not look deep into the eyes of an American pop star or cultural figure of some sort in my own country. I have to, I have to document that I am a Canadian when I go to work on Canadian television, where an American actor doesn't. He's got, he just, he's done his paperwork someplace else, but when he goes to the, fucking set to work, and it could be just at the end of my blog. I still have to tell them my passport and my driver's license. Erica's referring to a piece of paper that we have to sign where we're doing a piece of Canadian television that has a little bit of public money in. We actually have to sign a form that we actually live here. That I am Canadian. Canadian, that we're Canadian. As opposed to that American has to say, I, has to prove, has to say that he's not a Canadian. I have to prove I am a Canadian, he doesn't have to do anything. And also, then he gets to move around the country in a way I don't either. I used to be a Canadian actor, now I'm just an Ontario actor. Now this is, again, you know, because my tax credit doesn't travel with me to uh, BC, and therefore... But, but the colonialism, you don't really mean about the paper, because that's really like, that's really to facilitate the public money that will flow through the tax credit to the producer. You're talking about something else with the colonialism of television that we have now. That you believe... Yeah, well, absolutely. I'm using that as an extreme example of, of, of a system whereby, now, I mean, I, and that's not really my beef with the, ta the tax credit. My real beef with the tax credit is that it doesn't travel with me across the country, for one thing. And so then I'm speaking to a larger, that is, we should have a federal cultural policy rather than provincial cultural policy. And the other beef that I terribly have with it is that the Americans come up here, make their movies, and get the tax credit too, as long as they hire Canadians. So it's an incentive for them, in a kind of industrial way, that is offensive to me, because I'm not really interested in industrial television or industrial movies in that sense. I think that I want it to be about culture. And I think that's the business, that's a stronger business policy as well. Because, I mean, uh, this other policy that's just business, it is business, that is, it's a, it's a business, it's the business of culture, as opposed to cultural business, putting the culture first. If it's just the business of culture in that sense, all we see is, and I've had more than one Canadian producer going, well, it's a business after all, Eric. All we are producing is very mediocre, generic product. product that nobody really wants to buy. There's a kind of sub-market here for the, on grant systems that is, you know, in the, in the way of it. And it's not until we start making our own television expertly, which requires a lot of practice and a lot of opportunity to do it, that we won't, then we'll start to clean up. <laughs>